Hey everybody, Coach Jared here at Phoenix Elite and today we're working on full-ups. After you have your straight up extensions, your cupies, and your libs, maybe some body positions if you're getting fancy, we wanna start spinning. First thing I wanna see is the hard part about a full up is really not spinning. People think all the time that spinning is hard, flipping is hard, they are not hard. What's hard is your basics, having your feet together, having good posture from your bases, and having your lines of your body, not sticking out your booty, not bending your knees. That's what's actually difficult, so that's the first thing we're gonna tackle. This is one of my favorite drills. We're gonna hop into our normal squish, and the hardest part about your full up is just the fact, not the spin, uh, just go normal, like we're gonna do the release thing, yeah. Um, the spin is not the hard part about your full up. The fact that your back spot and your side base are releasing the flyer, that's what makes it difficult. So we'll just work on that first. We're just gonna do a show and go, just plain show and go. But what I wanna see is our back spot and side base are going to throw and release, catch at the top and then come down. They're letting go. Main base over here is holding on the whole time. Here we go, five. And five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful, now we can see that wasn't perfect, come down. We can see as that released, her feet came apart a little bit. That shows us this is a great thing for us to work on because we can't do our full up if the feet fall apart. So we're gonna do it one more time and it's gonna be perfect in the air. Hop up, five, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. That's the kind of control we need to see. I can see that we could spin that. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing, but catch it at the top because that's what we're gonna have to do in the full up. So the same thing, we're throwing, catching at the top. Go attack that catch. Here we go, five. And five, six, seven, eight, dip, one, two, three, four, five. Can you see that release? Can you see how they didn't wait for it? Go ahead and bring it down. They didn't wait to catch. They attacked at the top, and that is so important for catching your full up. That's what I want to see. Now, the next step I have is a really strange version of a half up, but it's really helpful to getting that full up. A full up is such a big step to get. This helps a lot. So we're going to turn the group sideways so we can see what we're talking about. Um, side base hop out for a second. Now, the, there's one weird thing about this drill, but once you get that, everything else is relatively easy. My main base, who would normally have her right foot, the flyer's right foot, she's gonna reach across to the other foot heel. So right hand, go ahead and put, yeah, go ahead and get up. So she's gonna reach across, as we can see right here. Her right hand has the heel of the left foot. Now, every other hand, her left hand and the side base, both hands just go under. It doesn't really matter where they go because they're gonna release and re-grab anyway. But this is the grip we want for this drill. Come on down. Now, we're only doing a half up, so we're gonna start like this. My back spot here is just going to row and then spot. My new back spot over there is gonna go ahead and grab it on the way. And that's actually one of the really important things that you wanna work on for your full up, is if I'm a back spot, I don't wait for it to finish and then grab. I wanna reach all the way around the stunt, lead for it, grab here, and then bring it where it's supposed to go. One of the biggest things is you don't wanna be passive. You wanna attack every single stunt, so don't wait for it to come to you, you go attack it. So let's go ahead and do this. We know what we're doing? Good. All right, here we go for this, uh, this half up drill, working for our full up. Five, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, beautiful. That's what you wanna see. Go ahead and bump that down. Now what's important about that is everybody let go except the main base. And that's the really hard part about your full up. So that's why we're doing it. Now we're doing all the hard parts about a full up, but we're only doing a half turn. That's why this is so important. So we just take all those things, put it together, and we make it a full up. Let's face front and show that. So all the same stuff. Your flyer's focusing on up and body position. We understand our main base grip. Let's go ahead and grab that. We can see she's on the right foot towards the toe with her hand over here like she's looking at her watch. Right at belly button, don't let it drop. And we're gonna do that full up. Here we go, five. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, beautiful. Bump that down, one, two. Now, some of the main things you wanna see on that, what I saw is I saw our back spot's hands grab all the way, all, almost to the front of the stunt and then bring it up. That's what you want. You don't wanna wait, you wanna go get it. I loved it. Now, we're gonna go over a couple of common mistakes uh, when you're, that you're gonna run into while you're learning this. Flyer, come forward. Most important job for our flyer is not spinning. Spinning is easy. Spinning is really easy. People don't get that. Spin, it's just turning a circle. It's not hard. What's difficult is squeezing together and lines. Most common fall. Everybody, you've always seen this fall. Where do people fall? They always fall like that. They let their butt out and they fall backwards. That's normal. So we're gonna fix it because every time she's in her stunt, we're not standing normal like this. That is a normal thing to do, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna squeeze our hips forward 
So you can see this line running from her shoulder through the, the back of her hips, through to her feet. That line is the most important part of your spin. So she stands up into that and she's gonna squeeze those ankle bones together. You can't relax, you have to constantly be squeezing or else your feet will fall apart. Uh, that's all the main stuff for your, for your top girl. The, the spin is easy, guys. That's, I cannot emphasize that enough. The spin is the easy part. You wanna focus on your body position and your feet. The other main mistake you're gonna run into is as a main base, you are responsible for where the stunt goes since you're the only person holding on the whole time. The easiest mistake you're gonna make is we're here in that kind of weird position, and as it comes and spins up, you're gonna bring it here, but that pulls her feet out from under her and it makes her fall back. So the most important thing you do is you stack your elbow under, you push it back, you push that way, you don't let it come to the front and then you finish up that spin, again, keeping her in the same line. You can imagine a tube that your flyer is in and she should never come out of that tube. Uh, one of my favorite things to, to help as a coach, go ahead and load this in. Obviously this group is amazing and they don't need any help, but my favorite thing to do to help my, uh, my main base is I'll just take my hand, put it directly under hers so I can help guide on the full up. So let's do that one time. Five, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now I think I might have just gotten in their way because they're too good, uh, but you get the idea. Go ahead and bump down. One, two. So there's our, those are all of my top tricks to getting your full up, which is the, the basic for all of your advanced stunts, all your one and a halfs, your double ups. All those exciting things later on come from the things you'll learn here. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next one.